smudge on my screen. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I'll get off sort that out later. And uh, hi, I'm Hayley. I'm currently the vice president of Baptist Together. All my life, no, I'm not. I keep saying vice president. I'm the president of Baptist Together for 2022 and 2023. I'm also one of the regional ministers in the Northern Baptist Association. But today is a full-on presidency day, as I am in. Spurgeon's College. Spurgeon's College was the place where I trained many, many years ago and um, I'm hoping, praying it's a different place because I hope things evolve and move on. But today I'm speaking at chapel and I think it's fair to say that when I was here and I graduated in uh, 20, uh, 2011, um, if we'd taken a straw poll of people who would be back preaching in chapel as president it wouldn't have been me um, but this is how god works so let's go and hang out with the students at spurgeon's college morning so i had it I had a great time um, at Spurgeon's and I spoke to the students um, about kind of um, some leadership lessons that we can learn about building a bigger table and how we as leaders build a bigger table so that was the kind of ministry session and then I did um, a chapel I, I spoke on um, Paul's kind of instruction to Timothy about not not forsaken reading um, and and the gift that God had originally given them. So so try to do that as a bit of an encouragement. I think it was. I hope it was. Um, then I've just been like on Zoom and meeting with people, arranging stuff. What's so good is so we announced the new roles um, of people working in the NBA, which is really really exciting. They all start in January. Um, so we're just trying to get things in place for that. It's it feels like we interview people in September, so this feels like quite a long way. So we're nearly there. We're quite excited about what that is. Sorry, my arm aches, so I keep moving it around. Um, so yeah, just getting everything sorted for that. We also announced that Graham and Mari McBain are moving up as pioneer ministers, community ministers, um, and they're starting in January. So trying to sort out housing and, and all of that jazz. Um, actually, they're sorting out housing. It's not really my stress but I'm just doing a bit in the background which is which is good um yeah and today today I am as you can see I, I'm not even in a premier inn I'm definitely not at home but I'm not in a premier inn for a change that's a bit weird isn't it so I am in a travel lodge yeah the floor is pretty grim actually the carpet is grim um but I'm here all collared up all looking smart because I am representing Baptists together at the Remembrance Service at the Cenotaph. So I'm not, I'm not a big one for kind of the ceremonial kind of stuff. And those of you that follow me on social media or that know me know I'm definitely not a royalist. You know, nice people, but it's not my bag. Um, but today is is the one that is a real honour. Um, because it's not about the politics, it's not about uh, all of that stuff. It's just it's just about remembering those and whatever we feel about war. Um, today is not the day to to discuss that. Today is the day to remember. Um, so I'm not going to take my vlogging camera because I've been quite specific about like no bags, nothing like this. So I've got my phone. So I'll try and capture what I can. And um, I've got to be there. I've got a clear security by like 10. So it's just before 9, so I'm going to head off uh, and do that. And yesterday, yesterday, because I came up to London yesterday, uh, I managed to catch up with some mates. So that was really nice. You can see some bits of that on my social media. Um, but yeah, I'll try and film what I can on my phone. Um, yeah, let's go to Remembrance Service.
So it turns out you can't film a lot in Remembrance Sunday <laughs> um, for obvious reasons. But I will say it was such a privilege. I'm not, I'm not really into all those big occasions and big things because, well, I guess because I don't feel like I naturally fit in those spaces. Um, so I always feel a bit awkward and out of place, but it was an amazing privilege to represent Baptist together in that space. Um, so yeah, wow, that's one off the, the bucket list, isn't it? And um, yeah, I've not done, I've not done um, a vlog for a month now, and it's now the end of December, <laughs> so Remembrance Day was a little while ago. And, and I guess the reason I've not done that is just, just needing headspace. Um, you've been aware as we've journeyed through this year, the, the highs, the lows, the, the challenges, and there's the stuff you don't see. Um, and I have to be honest, I've had to take time, uh, not out from work, but I've just had to take time and I've got spare time to, to just invest in me a little bit. Um, and focus on that. So that's what I've been doing. We've um, we've been motoring forward, and also some of the stuff I go to, it's just not appropriate to film. I was with the team leaders, and um, for a few days, that was that was really really good. Um, there was actually a really good feeling uh, about it. There's there's some new team leaders that have come in to play. This is the regional minister team leaders from our different associations and. It's been really good to get to know them and it just brings a different vibe, doesn't it, as there's different people around the table. So went to that, been doing that, we've been motoring on here in the Northern Baptist Association with uh, preparations for the new team starting in January. So I'm really, really excited to be uh, forming a new team as we as we phase into a different different style of associating. So so that's been really, really good fun. And now I'm just about to go on annual leave. Do you know what? It still feels really weird because when I was in local pasture um, this time of year, and I'm sure those ministers of you that are watching are thinking, oh my life, lady, we are hectic, we are snowed under. Yeah, yeah, in regional life, it's the opposite. So basically, no one wants to hear from the regional minister at Christmas time. So I take the most of that and I take time off and I rest and I spend time with those that I love and care about and hopefully those that love and care about me um, and just switch off. It's also a time, the past couple of days, I've been really reflecting on the past year. Whoa, what a year! What a year it has been. We started off the year, if you remember, I kicked it off pretty much in Centre Parks, taking time out with mates because I knew something big was uh, going to happen as I presented the report to the trustees in the Northern Baptist Association of what I heard and a couple of proposals of how we could move forward. Move on from that, we now have um, new trustees. And we've got some new set of vision and values. We've uh, recruited a whole new staff team. Um, I've been representing uh, the Northern Baptist Association at a national level. So that's just association life. And then, and that's all in the midst of trying to care for ministers and churches and everything else. We managed to get some amazing funding. Um, so like when miracle, just absolute miracle. So we've got pioneer ministers, community ministers moving into the northeast in the new year. So it's all go, it's all it's all in association life. And along with that I started the year as vice president kind of reflecting on how do I look after myself in this space, how do I represent well, how do I provide challenge, how do I support our wider Baptist movement so being in national events in May, um, I, I was put into place as president for the year. Um, 
And that, I, I just cannot believe the privilege I have. I have an amazing privilege to travel around our Baptist movement and see and hear all the great things that you basically are doing. The challenge of that is I often come across the negative side of our life as Baptists together as we wrestle with theology, as we wrestle with our preconceived ideas, as we as we learn to, to walk with each other in, in different ways. As I've shared before, I've often been shocked and, and hurt and it's really affected me, people's preconceived ideas of me, people making judgments about me. People not wanting. Actually, this is the big. This is the this is the killer for me. This is what keeps me up at night. This is what breaks my heart. Actually, people refusing to talk. People refusing to listen. Because you've got nowhere to go with that. You've got and that that hurts. And I guess I guess the comfort is they're not rejecting me because of my personality. They're rejecting me because of a perceived theology um, or my gender. So. And I can't do anything about their perception of me apart from try and be in those spaces. But when those doors are closed, that's tough and it has an effect on me. And I'm massively supported by the team at Baptist Together, especially all those that make up the Faith and Society team. Um, I love you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for being with me this year as we've vlogged through it. Um, I know my vlogs towards the latter part of the year have been quieter and that's simply no, that's because I'm doing my best to look after myself and to keep going. Um, but thank you for all your prayers, thank you for your support. I'm really excited um, to share more with you uh, next year. Um, but I'm going to check out now um, until January. Um, it's like the 15th of December. Man, this is... I'm literally just going to sit on my sofa and watch TV for a couple of days. I'm so excited about that. Um, and I'll go to the gym and do some healthy stuff as well, don't worry. Um, yeah, so thank you for your support. Thank you for joining with me. Uh, thank you for all the engagements on social media. Thank you for allowing me the privilege to meet you, to pray for you, to walk with you in the ways that I can over this year. And yeah, let's look forward to next year. So I've been praying for all of you and um, that you have an awesome Christmas, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's quiet or loud, big or small. I just pray that you would, you would know God's joy and God's peace in that. And I will see you, actually, oh my God, no, don't forget to give this video a like, share the content and, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, that is awesome. And if you do like, that really, really helps out the channel. So please do those things. <clears throat> I'm going to um, rest and then get back in the vlogging at Sophia in January. So you guys take care. You've been you, I've been me, and I will see you next time.